Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have some coloring books I thought we could take a look at today. They are a series of books by the illustrator and author M. Patrick Duggan. And um, I have not really seen these books on anybody's channels or on Instagram or anything. And it kind of surprises me because they're really, really cool. Um, so one night, I'll give you a backstory really quick. I couldn't sleep. I was doing the Amazon thing, surfing around. And I was kind of looking for books that were done in the Art Nouveau style. And um, I wanted to add some of those types of books to my collection, um, my coloring collection. And I came across these um, books from this illustrator and author. And I searched YouTube and I could find only one flip, I think, of the first one and the second one in the Myths and Monsters um in the Myths and Monsters series. Um, and so I was like, you know what? I'm getting these books because they really look like something I would enjoy. So there's three in the Myths and Monsters category, I believe. There's only three. And then there was this one, Moon Princesses and Space Monsters. And I was like, oh, heck yeah, I really want that one. So um, I believe the author and illustrator is a uh, kind of a fantasy type um, writer and illustrator. I believe just from looking at his Instagram, I didn't study it or anything, but I believe he uh, does graphic novels and comics maybe. I'm not too sure. Um, but he's also like, you know, an artist. And um, so I gave him a follow and I ordered these books and I thought we would look at them today. So I'll start with the Moon Princesses and Space Monsters. And I really love this book. It is super duper fun. So this is 30 beautiful illustrations in the Art Nouveau style of sci-fi princesses, heroes, villains, and monsters. And it's Squid and Black Entertainment at squidblack.com. So we shall start taking a look at these. Now, what is interesting about these, and um, it is like this in the Myths and Monsters series too, is there is a page before each illustration that gives a brief description of the character that follows that you can color. I think that's really, really neat. So here is the title page. And um, the first one, Star Captain Steve. He's a hero. <laughs> and he looks like a hero, doesn't he? He's a very buxom. <laughs> <laughs> not buxom uh, built you know what I mean like what am I trying to say he's very like uh, brawny that's the word I was looking for and then um Princess Pandora now I to be honest with you I do not know these might be characters that he already has in some of his other work like uh, um, graphic novels or, or books or anything like that I do not know I don't, I don't know any of that I haven't done my research so so I I couldn't tell you giant killer robot a deadly problem for everyone <laughs> But they're so humorous, like like the um, description section, or description little paragraph in that. A lot of them are really, really funny. Dr. Kronos Wolf. Spaceship, a useful device. <laughs> so just really fun. I'm going to try to just skip to the next illustration. Evil Emperor. This is Princess Veronica. Now this is Amazon or I don't, well, I don't know because it's got a publisher on it um, or a website. So I don't know, but it feels like our basic Amazon paper. So I will say that I don't, um, I don't know for sure that this didn't, that this is Printed by Amazon, but it does feel like it has the Amazon paper, just so you know. Princess Bora, I kind of like that one. So this reminds me, of course, of Borg, right? And this reminds me of Borg. Fun. These little girls with their sexy, sassy space outfits on. Sneaky Space Monster. I like that one. <clears throat> Princess Violet and the Giant Spores. <laughs> Excuse me. Princess Gladys. Gladys isn't really a princess's name, is it? 
But you know, this book is huge and all these books are huge and it is so fun. These are just like totally different than anything that I have in my collection. The only thing that comes close to this book, I would say, is the Stardust Space Lust book by Carla Magana, which I'm currently coloring in right now. But even so, that's still a different style with this Art Nouveau and the, the uh, females are drawn a lot differently. These are just really fun. I'm very excited to dive into these. And I got, I get really excited because you guys know, like, when you have as big of a coloring book collection as I do, and a lot of us, a lot of you do also, sometimes it's hard to find um, illustrations. Ooh, look at this vampire. Um, illustrations that are different from what we already have in our collection. You know what I mean? She's going to be very metallic. I can tell you that already. Um... And here is a little bit about Art Nouveau from the author. Um, it says, uh, as a final note, if you enjoy this book, I hope you will write and let me know. Also, if there are characters you'd like to see in a future edition, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Lastly, if you'd like to share your coloring of any of these pictures, I would love to see them. And I don't see like a certain hashtag or anything, but um, let's see. So he works as an illustrator, colorist, and writer on several comic book magazines and novels, including Disney Adventures, The Tick, Fooding, The Dark, Green Lantern, Fantastic Four, Clown with a Gun, The Lemming. Wow. Wow. King of the Hill. I love King of the Hill. I have the, I have the King of the Hill series on DVD, box set or whatever that Keith got me. Ms. M. Patrick is a proud nerd with profound opinions about Art Nouveau, Art Deco, Mythology, Star Wars, Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica, and yes, The West Wing. Rumor has it, rumor has it the Sorting Hat put him in Hufflepuff. He's not sure what to think about that. So I love it. I love this. Um, totally different from everything I have in my collection and um, super, super excited to get this. So now let's take a look at the Myths and Monsters um, books. So this is a volume one. Um, let's see where are we are. I don't want to make this video too, too long. So here's the front of it and the back. And then, uh, let me. So um, this is just like the um, uh, moon princesses and space monsters in that there is a paragraph before each illustration that explains to you a little bit about that character and it's done in a humorous cheeky style and it's very enjoyable to read so that's another thing that makes this, these coloring books a delight in my opinion to have because just so different from what we are used to and I and I don't know if I said this already I purchased these on Amazon on my own I wasn't sent these books or anything like that I just really really like these they're fun so um and uh, this is the same page that was at the back of the Moon Princesses book. So, so we've got Aphrodite. Oops, I don't want to. And again, I'm going to try to go right to the illustration. We'll skip over the um, description page. My hands are dry. I've washed them so many times today. And we got done eating and I had a greasy hamburger for dinner. <laughs> So I have to wash my hands again before I touch my coloring books. And um, now they're like really dry. So one of the reasons why I like these two and was interested in having these is because there's quite a few male characters and images to color. And I don't really have any. When we did the coloring uh, book scavenger hunt tag and I really saw how woefully uh, thin my selection of male characters to color in my collection was, I was like, okay, I need to start working on coloring some men and not just stick to the women figures. So that's one of the reasons too why I um, wanted to get these books because there is quite a few uh, male characters. Let's see. There's the Cyclops. It's a pretty one, Demeter. I can see that one, what it's going to look like colored in my mind. The Fates. The Three Sisters. And I know their names and I can't remember them right now. Loot. I can't remember their names. I 
Icarus. Oh, this looks so pretty. Like with these leaves to make them gold with like gold metallic paint. Oh, so pretty. Isis. Do you guys remember watching, some of you are probably too young, the Isis cartoon uh, on the, in the 70s? I always used to watch Isis and um, Shazam <laughs> and Isis. The Kraken. I've never seen the Kraken look like that before. Oops, skipped one. So I'll try not to talk so much because I still got to get through two more of these. Minotaur looks pretty scary. Nike. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Let's see. Psyche. Spider Grandmother. So that's one thing too about these books that I think is really interesting is there's all different cultural um, myths and characters uh, from folklore, you know, different different ones. It's not just like Greek or um, Roman gods and goddesses. There's all different kinds. Oops, I skipped one. Theseus. Oh, let's see. There's Zeus. I think that's the... Oh, one more. Oh, no, that's it. Okay, so that's it for that one. So that's volume one of the Myths and Monsters grown-up coloring book. Now let's look at volume two. All the same stuff in here, so we can skip that beginning stuff. Ooh, look at this one. Totally detailed. Anubis. Apollo. Again, with all that gold leafing. Very fun. I got those new metallic paints I need to use. This one is screaming for those metallic paints. I love the Art Nouveau design on this. I do not know how to pronounce that. Or that one. I like our little star crown. I'm doing laundry, so if you can hear that water running in the background, that's what that is. And I did follow um, him on Instagram and. Um, I replied, uh, I commented that I had purchased the books and they were coming soon and he um, replied back to me. So very uh, nice when an illustrator, um, you know, re we reach out to them and they respond to us. Uh, I think, I always think that's really nice. And I like that he um, said in the, in the books that he would like to see the colored images that we do. Ishtar. There's Loki. Does he look like Tom Hiddleston? I don't know. <laughs> Medusa. I loved me some Tom Hiddleston until he hooked up with what's her butt? Hiddle Swift. And then I just couldn't do it anymore. Very pretty. Persephone. I remember her from Greeks, Greek myths and legends. I had, I think it was 10th grade. I was in a myths and legends class in high school. Poseidon. And again, these um, little descriptions that he has before each character are pretty funny. So you definitely have to, uh, like this one, uh, Sisyphus. Uh, in Greek, Greek mythology, Sisyphus was the king of Ephraim, now known as Corinth. Corinth, but he was very self 
aggrandizing, deceitful, and petty. Because he was such a creep, Zeus punished him to spend eternity rolling a giant boulder up a hill, only to have it roll back down again, and then he'd have to roll it back up over and over and over. <laughs> so, oh, there he is pushing that boulder. And then that's about the illustrator. Um, and so then we will go into the last one that I have, which is Myths and Monsters Volume 3 Grown Up Coloring Book. And again, with the same um, information on it. So I'm going to try just to show the pictures if I can grab a hold of it. hands are dry like I said oh, these are just so beautiful and so different from what we currently or what I currently have I shouldn't say we I don't know what you have <laughs> Atlas Black-eyed people. I showed this page when I did the haul video. Really cool. I listened to a podcast about black-eyed people and then I couldn't go to sleep one night. You know? Like, why do I do that? Because I'm a creep and stupid. <laughs> Calypso. Pluto, Hades, Pluto, Helios, <clears throat> oops, so yeah, like I said, it is really cool that there's so many male figures, Jenny Green Teeth, hold on, I have to go back, uh, Jenny Greenteeth was known for luring children in with offers of a song, candy, or friendship, and then she would drown them in the bog. Jenny Greenteeth is not your friend. Hmm, she has a dagger in one hand and a heart in the other. <laughs> Morgan. She's a witch. I know that from reading oh, what was it? And it was had the big mini suit. Mists of Avalon. And then of course the Mists of Am Avalon author was accused of horrible things, I believe. Which, I don't know why I brought that up, but... <laughs> Oh my gosh, very detailed, but cool. Look at those horns. Thor. Look at his hair. Don't hate him because he's beautiful. Just really, I'm really digging these. So different, you know, than what I have. Come on. Ooh, look at that. That's really fun. And that's the end of that one. So, yeah. You guys, I just wanted to show those to you. So that is the Myths and Monsters uh, Grown Up Coloring Book, Volumes 1 through 3, and the Moon Princesses and Space Villains. Is that, wait, what's it called again? I don't want to get it wrong. Moon Princesses and Space Monsters by M. Patrick Duggan. So what I'm going to do is leave a link to where you can purchase these. Um, 
on Amazon. And um, I am an Amazon affiliate, so if you do purchase via my link, I will receive a small profit. I uh, just thought I would let you know that. And they're very cool. I'm super excited to have them. And definitely, I will put um, this illustrator's information in the description section also, where you can uh, follow him on his Instagram account as well. Um, and let's, let's if we have these books, let's color them and, and show them our work. I think it's going to be really, really cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I, I just thought these were really different and I got really excited about them. So um, I hope you enjoyed uh, the flip throughs and I will see you in the next one.